What's up everyone? Today we're going to jump in and talk about how to set up a near wallet with a ledger. And then if you stay at the end of the video, I will show you how to send gas over to your near wallet to make it work, to make it function the easiest and cheapest and fastest way. What's up everyone? My name is Evan with Crypto Cash Camp. The goal of the channel is to get a thousand of you to make 50 bucks a month passive income and it's really not that hard. Focus on low risk situations, yield farming, stable coins, all sorts of those good bear market things. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to jump in and get that near wallet set up on the ledger. Um, so just to tell you, this is Ledger Live. So you should already have your ledger set up. You know, this is, I think I have another video for that. But one of the odd things we have to do is click on the gear icon in the top right. This is Ledger Live. Go down to experimental features right here and then hit developer, uh, developer mode. And this just allows you to access um, the Near Protocol app. Uh, might be in beta, um, and that may be a reason why they're doing it. But then we go down to Manager to actually pick up and download that Near Protocol, make sure it's installed on our device too. All right, so here we are. We're going to type in at the top Near. All right, it is installed. So that's great. Great to know. So we already have Near installed. I've already I've already done this, but that is more or less the harder part. And now we're gonna actually go over and go over to Near. So what we're gonna do is get over here to Near. And what we realize is Near is about 10 bucks. It has a pretty uh, it has a, a pretty big market cap of $6 billion and it has almost nothing built on it. This is like the main platform and it doesn't have that much staked into it yet. But you know, they have some future potential. So what we wanna do is go to wallet.near.org so I have this little burner wallet, and I've already set this up, but we can even do this on a new screen so you have to see, you can see what it looks like fresh. All right, and this is what it should look like when you're getting into it for the first time. And we're gonna say, um, let's go to create an account. All right, we're gonna get started. And what we're gonna use is a Ledger hardware device. Remember, you can do it the standard 12 word seed phrase, uh, a little less secure. I always like confirming things on the Ledger. And if you don't already have one of these guys, it's a Ledger X. I love it, there's a link in the description. I think you're gonna get a little discount. But uh, there's the S and the X. X is nice because it actually can store like 30 apps. The S can do like three. It's like Ethereum and Bitcoin, then you're done. So it's just annoying. You don't want that. All right, so we're going to go to connect. Connect your ledger device. So you're going to make sure that your ledger is unlocked and you've already installed that app. What we are seeing right now is that we are seeing that ledger is only supported on Mozilla Firefox. So I did not know that. So I'm going to switch the browser. So now I've switched to the, um, into the Firefox account. I mean, it should be working on Chrome and it was working. So maybe there was an issue. Uh, currently only supported on Mozilla Firefox. Perfect, continue. All right, we're gonna confirm. Please confirm your device on the operations. There should be some prompt we're waiting for. Okay, the thing that you have to do is actually uh, go to the Near app on your Ledger device, click on it, just put the two buttons, tense, use wallet to view accounts, and then it's there. So now we are logged into the um, near app here, and then we're gonna go over here to click continue, and it's gonna find us here. The key pops up and it's gonna give us an approve or reject. We're gonna just click approve. And uh, what we're gonna need is actually, <laughs> we're gonna need to get a little bit of near to make this all work. And I told you if you waited, I was gonna show you how to do it. And my very best way of doing it is Qcoin. By the way, I do want to show you the other options. Like, you can buy with MoonPay, but we've done the math, and it's thirty dollars minimum. Uh, there's a three percent spread fee, and there's a four dollars fee. So it's just like ten bucks to to use it. So we always uh, do the exchanges. So if you have one of these exchanges, awesome. If not, uh, use Qcoin, and I'll show you that. Remember, so the interesting thing about Qcoin is that you need, there's like a trading account where you can trade and there's the main account where you can send and receive. So if anything comes to your you know, main account, you go here to trade, send it over to trade. And then this is just simply what I do, near, go down here to trade. Uh, USDT is like the standard of Qcoin and it looks like buy near. Well, I would buy, we've got a market over here. I would buy like four you know, buy a dollar of near. Okay, let's buy one dollar of near. And then you go ahead and your order was placed and I got it. Granted, you buy a little more, I already have a little sitting around. 
So we go down here to the main account. Oh, it's margin. Main account. Don't use margin. Not advised at all. Go to main account. So you're near. You'd have to send it over from your trading account over to your main account. But we're not going to get into all that because I already have some right here. Let's go to withdrawal. We're going to withdraw to this this actual address right here, which we'll just go ahead and copy. Bring it over here. I always recommend adding this address. We would go, I would type in Ledger X Lite. Network would be near. And we would go ahead and <laughs> Ledger X go over here. Make sure that's submitted. And then we have to do this two-factor authentication, which is annoying, but it's great for security. So I've added this um, address, and it's always good to send a little money to an address you save, just to make sure it lands and you're all good. So we're gonna go ahead and send a uh, point. You always have to do a 0 0.2. We're gonna set test to ledger. There is a little bit of a fee, but we're gonna confirm that. Confirm withdrawal. Put in this code. And then we're good to go. And near sends so quick, it's like Solana. So you're gonna see right here, we'll refresh this. There should be one transaction pending, and then it should be ready to send over very quick. Yeah, processing, and it'll be ready in about 20 seconds. All right, so as you can see on Qcoin, the transaction was completed, and then we've got our whopping $1.52, and you may be wondering why we don't have the full amount. Uh, some of it was used as gas. Oh. And some of it, well, we're not going to use their hash explorer, um, is locked up because you need a little bit of money locked up in near to kind of have a wallet. It's like you need 50 cents or something locked up. And this is it. This is now your ledger access. And you're wondering, oh, what's my ledger wallet number right here? This is your contract address, passphrase, email. Remember, you're never going to be able to um, do anything without your ledger. So you need a ledger and you need that 24 word seed phrase you have with your ledger to do this but this is how you activate near and this is an amazing part and if you want to actually go see the protocols that are available uh, i'll just quickly show you that you go to DeFi llama DeFi llama has the tlv the total lock value of all the top chains and projects so i just go to chains next go down i just usually search near keep searching oh there it is we're gonna go down. We're not using Aurora, we're using Near. We're gonna to go to Ref Finance. This is their main swap. So we're gonna to go to their website. And we're gonna wait for this to load. I'm gonna show you how to connect your wallet. It's surprisingly easy. Just gotta make sure that Near is connected on your on your ledger. So we are connected there. And what we're gonna do is go, okay, you don't need to deposit ref anymore. Okay, I got it. And we're gonna to connect to Near. Connect to the web app, and uh, there we go, 919. Next, we're connecting with this. Connect, and you should need to authorize with your ledger. Confirm key, click a few times to the right, and then you click the check. Processing, you hear the click, there we go. Sorry, so we are connected. And that's how you do it. It's that easy and it doesn't take much time, but uh, it's definitely a great way to secure your assets in Nier. Like if I was using any DeFi protocols, always use the ledger. Um, and if you wanna get deeper into DeFi, check the link below if you wanna join the DeFi mastermind on yield farming. You don't wanna make 50 bucks a day, we guide you through. I get to work with you directly, along with my team of analysts and researchers. So yeah, we've got an awesome group right there. And yeah, just hit the subscribe button for more updated content. We're getting into a lot into uh, bear market strategies for this lovely time of the bear market. All right, guys, I will see you all soon.